Hi everyone, my name is Mel and I'm currently a missionary in Kona, Hawaii. I moved there in January this year to join a school called Revival and Reformation. So I joined staff with YWAM there. Um, and basically the school is a nine month program, three months of intensely studying the Bible, three months of looking at biblical worldview. So what is God's original design for society in government, in education, in religion, science, and then three months of communication. So how do we take the word of God and communicate it to the world of like God's world? Um, and through that's through so many different means, social media, um, just public speaking, stuff like that. And so I'm currently in Las Vegas and we just took a team from Kona of 17 people. We've been here for a month doing outreach. Um, a lot of you may know that I lived in Las Vegas for two years. This is where I first did my DTS in 2017. And I fell in love with the city. Um, yeah, God gave me a really big heart for this place. There's just so much brokenness here. Um, some of the highest rates of suicide, um, human trafficking, homelessness. And so I really wanted to bring a team from Kona to just be harvesters in the field here. Like Jesus talks about, pray to the Lord of the harvest that he would send harvesters into the field. And so I felt in my heart, I was like, I wanna bring an army of people just to flood this city with the love of Jesus. And so we've got to see some incredible things. Um, yeah, I'd love to share a few stories. One of the coolest things for me was we were doing ministry in a mall one night and I met this couple named Zach and Mariah. And me and two friends, we got to pray over her leg. She was in a cast and she said that she felt the warmth of the, the Holy Spirit touching her leg and she felt the pain leaving her leg. And so we got to share about Jesus, give her a recap of the gospel because they'd heard it before they'd been Catholic and just share a bit of my testimony about what God's done in my life. And they, they were hungry. We could tell they were hungry, but they didn't quite want to give their lives to Jesus fully. And so we prayed. We we're like, God, we ask that you send somebody else from our team to them. And then later that night, we were debriefing and two of our teammates were in a completely different casino in the strip. And they said, yeah, we met this couple named Zach and Mariah and we got to pray for them, share the love of Jesus um, and the Holy Spirit touched them. And I was like undone. I was like, oh my gosh, like I prayed this little prayer thinking nothing would happen. And then God sent two people from our team to a whole nother like building on the strip to meet them and share love Jesus. And they said that night that they were they would have to go home and think about Jesus more now because of what happened that night that two people encountered them with the love of God. So that like, encouraged my heart so much that a little prayer sometimes, like we think it doesn't work, but it really does and God hears it. Um, yeah, another one was me and my friend Sydney. We got to pray for this guy on the street. Um, he was an atheist and he had like a stack of paper in front of him. And so we asked him what he does and he likes to draw portraits of people. And so we just got to share about the love of God. And he said that he used to believe in God, like he grew up in the church, but he turned away just because of a lot of hurt from religion. And so I shared my testimony with him and talked about um, the power of Jesus. Like when, when the Holy Spirit comes to live in you, how it changes you, how you experience joy and freedom for the first time. And he'd actually escaped rehab that day. And so we got to just pray for him and the Lord was delivering things out of him. Like he was encountering God's love and he decided he wanted to give his life to Jesus. So we were able to give him a new Testament, pray with him. We blessed him with a new backpack, gave him some money. And he was so excited. Like he just seemed so different. He was like, yeah, I want to, I want to actually start coming to the streets now and drawing and making money that way, you know, rather than stealing things. So that really encouraged my heart. Just seeing that was just crazy. Um, and another one was we got to go to this brothel and I got to speak to this one woman about, yeah, I asked if like anything traumatic had ever happened to her, like, cause I'd had a dream three years ago on that day about rescuing a woman out of, out of the water. And so I asked her if she'd ever had a, a near death experience. And so she started opening up to me, pulled me to the side and talked about her son, who was a drug addict, who'd almost died multiple times for the next 45 minutes. She took me into one of the brothel rooms and just opened up her heart about how she's had so much damage from religion, about how much. Um, how many questions she had about God and Jesus and if you really loved her and I just got to share my heart and share God's heart with her and that he's a father and that he loves her and that it's not about religion and rules it's about a relationship with him and I got to pray for her and, and she was crying like the Holy Spirit touched her and I was just undone like amazed that God would like send me into a brothel to share the love of Jesus with this woman like that's literally what Jesus did in the Bible he sat with prostitutes and so I just felt the love of Christ um, in that moment it was so powerful yeah, so um, we just had the most amazing one month here. Like, I cannot even believe everything that God did in this one month. Um, I think a prayer point for me would be just going back to Kona. 
I get to staff another school, the nine month revival and reformation school, and hopefully lead another outreach next year. But I would love prayer for vision and just that God would speak and make it really clear what my role is. And um, just that I'd be able to disciple students well. And also I would love prayer for just, we had over 90 people give their lives to Jesus in this last month. But my heart and my prayer is that it wouldn't just be a prayer that they prayed on the street. It would be something where the Lord really encounters them and where they actually get discipleship and find church community and are not just left hanging by themselves. So yeah, please pray for the salvations and pray for those encounters that people had with God on the street, that that it would actually be a lasting seed, that the enemy wouldn't snatch that seed from them. Um, yeah, thank you so much for listening and thank you for all your support and your prayers. It really means the world to me. And yeah, thank you.